Hello and welcome to Bud's Home Automations and Repairs. One of my favorite automations, which was no longer available after I migrated from the classic SmartThings app to the new app, was my door chimes that played on my dome siren alarm whenever any of my exterior doors were open. I had installed Kevin LaFramboise's SmartThings device handler, which can be found on the community SmartThings site. And this allowed my dome alarm to work spectacularly in the SmartThings Classic app. The device handler provided expanded functionality by providing a multitude of device sounds. This gave me the ability to use various chimes and bells in addition to the multiple security alarms. However, like many of the other SmartThings device handlers, the Dome Siren Alarm device handler is not compatible with the new SmartThings architecture, so my chimes suddenly disappeared and went away. However, I was on the SmartThings community website the other day and I discovered a workaround for getting my door chimes working again. This solution that I'll share with you today will work with any SmartThings compatible speaker. So if you'd like to learn how to have your speaker chime or make some other audible notification when certain doors are open, then stay tuned. So as an intro, let me show you the Dome device in the SmartThings Classic app, and I'll demonstrate all the available sounds that were once available. Before we get started, just a quick warning. Some of these alarms are obnoxiously loud, so you may want to turn down your volume just a bit. Let's get started on the demo here. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the SmartThings Classic app. And uh, I'm gonna go in to find the Dome alarm and there you see it listed here the dome siren so let's go ahead and tap on that now this is the uh, app in the classic app as I mentioned these alarms and features are not available in the new app so if you click on the dome siren you will not see all this detail so you can see the chimes listed here in the purple then we have some alarms and sirens listed here in red and then we have various bells that are listed here in green. So let's start with the chimes. We're gonna start with chime one. That's the one I use and that's the one I prefer for my doors. Let's try chime two. Pretty basic. Now let's try chime three. Very basic as well. Let's look at some of the bells, bell one. That's kind of nice. Bell two. Bell three. Bell four. Finally, bell five. Okay, so now we can look at uh, the alarms and sirens. This is where you may want to adjust your volume a little bit, uh, particularly on this alarm, it's fairly loud. I'll also adjust the level of the sound when I do some of the editing here. So let's try alarm one, here we go. very loud and now siren one all right uh, let's try siren two pretty much sounds like the alarm so a little delay in stopping there so there you have it there's the alarms sirens chimes and bells the uh, particular sound that I prefer to notify me when an exterior door is open is the chime one sound. Note chime one is spelled with a blank space between the word chime and the number one. So it's important, like I said previously, to get that correct spelling for that label. With the sound selection in mind, let's now go into the new app and get started on the door chime automation setup. Okay, let's go ahead and go into our SmartThings app. 
and uh, we're going to first go to the three lines at the top of the screen up in the upper left hand corner click on those next you want to go to smart apps okay within smart apps we want to hit on the plus sign this is going to allow us to add a new smart app it'll scroll down the list and what we're looking for is speaker companion so go ahead and click on that okay now this next step depends on the type of speaker you have if you happen to have a sonos or if you have a bose speaker you'll want to click on that control play stop pause and skip and then after you do that you'll select play and then hit done and then go through the remainder steps that i'm going to show you uh, when i set up my dome siren if you have a dome siren you need to select play a notification so since we're going to be setting up the dome siren that's the selection that i'm going to make before i do that though I want to mention that if you would like to get a smart speaker that is compatible with the uh, smart things app i have a whole list of those available on my amazon storefront if you look below this video you're going to find a link that says buds automation storefront and if you click on that link it'll take you to a whole set of speakers which are compatible with the smart things app so check that out so let's go ahead and set up for the dome siren let's click on play a notification all right you see a number of options here I believe Bell 1 and Bell 2 will work on the dome siren I'm not sure if they play the actual Bell 1 and Bell 2 so what I do to set this up is click on custom message which is at the top of the page so click on that and hit done at the bottom okay now where it says tap to set let's click on this under play this message and this is where we're going to type the label of that chime of your choice for my purposes as i mentioned i like the chime one so i'm going to type that in here chime and remember to leave a space and then the number one okay and then we'll hit done there and then on this speaker player you'll see the dome siren in the list. You also see some echo listed there. I've tried the echoes and they do not work. That is not an option in this speaker companion setup. So let's go ahead and select dome siren. Okay, and we'll hit done. All right, next we want to have this triggered whenever a multi-purpose sensor is open. So I have three exterior doors and I have a multi-purpose sensor on each of those doors. Another name for multi-purpose sensor is a contact sensor. So what we're going to select here is that we want the chime to play whenever a contact opens. So let's click on contact opens. And then you'll see a list of all of the available sensors and you want to select your contact sensors. For me, I'm going to select the garage man door. I'm also going to select the kitchen door and my living room door. So those are all my three exterior doors and I'm going to hit done at the bottom. Okay, now we don't necessarily need resume currently playing music after notification because the dome siren doesn't play music, but we do want more options. So look at the more options and click on that and uh, what we want to do is to temporarily change the volume so I'm going to click on that and this goes as you see from 0 to 100 and for our purposes I think we'll go ahead and do 60 hit done and next so it's going to change uh, the volume up to 60%. Uh, I'm not interested in doing it for specific modes because I want it to do it any time a door is opened, irrespective of what mode we're in. So I'm going to leave that uh, unchanged. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is to assign a name for our automation. So you tap to set that, and I'm going to call this door and chime. Hit done, hit done again, 
and that's it. You see the door chime automation at the top of the list. The other automation was one that I had done previously. And uh, so that's all it is to set it up. And uh, let's take a look at what this looks like. So pretty neat little automation, something that I missed whenever I switched over to the new app and I'm glad I have it back in play. So if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you give me a like on the video. That will certainly help the channel. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.